Hey crew, so I'm actually super excited to show off this build for you guys today because it combines so many different things to make us basically unkillable if played right while still outputting so much damage it's actually kind of ridiculous. On top of that having amazing ad clear as well. I mean what more can you ask for in a build? This is a 1350 master loss sector so the only thing more difficult is a grandmaster and just watch how we literally one shot some of these champions. We clear it in 2 minutes and 40 seconds, which is great for a 1350, and you can handle all champion types with this build, which I really like about it. Pay attention to everything because we're ramping up our damage in a bunch of different ways, and also our damage reduction as well, so you need to make sure you set it up correctly or you won't survive long enough or do the crazy amount of damage. And make sure to have the correct exotics on because the two we are using are just as important because they do two separate things. But the good thing is once you have all of it set up right and correctly, the build runs very easy and smooth and it's simple, which makes it that much better and easier to play. If you guys do enjoy this video or found it helpful, then hit that subscribe button for me and become part of the crew here. We're closing in on that 50k subscriber mark on the channel, so that would be absolutely awesome to hit. Also, there will be a build pick in the video that you can screenshot. It will look something like these ones do that you see on screen here. And if you want a one-stop shop, you know, to all the different builds in one place, then join the Discord to get access to it with the link in the pinned comment or the description. All the different builds are in here and all future builds will be added to this channel. So you always have a reference place to look back and it'll be updated in future seasons as well, especially with the new dungeon coming in December and Witch Queen dropping. Okay, so let's go over the subclass because it's really important. There's some very important things that the subclass does for us, which is great. We have Burning Maul, of course, summon a Flaming Maul and crush enemies with a force of an earthquake. This is our super. We have Throwing Hammer, which is what the build is centered around. Throw a hammer from a distance. After throwing it, picking up the hammer fully recharges your melee ability. We have Tireless Warrior. After hitting an enemy with your Throwing Hammer, picking up the hammer triggers your health regeneration. We have Roaring Flames. Kills with your solar abilities. Increase those abilities damage. This stacks up to three times. And then for your grenade, make sure you're using Thermite Grenade. It's the best grenade on a Solar Titan, a grenade that sends forward a burning line of fire. Now I've done a couple videos on this build already, um, one with Ashen Wake and one with Syntheseps as well. And both builds are really good. This build takes everything that we've learned over this season along with in addition to the new exotic and all the different mods that we finally got and just putting it all together to make it a beast of a build that you see. So for our helmet, we have hands on, we gain bonus super energy on melee kills. This is in the artifact and it only costs one. You can double stack this or just stack it one time and have an ammo finder as the other one. We have elemental charge on our helmet, become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental well element matches your subclass, you gain two stacks of charge with light. So we're going to get two stacks every time because we're picking up a solar well. On our gauntlets, we have Thermoclastic Blooming from the Artifact. Defeat a combatant with a solar or stasis melee creates an orb of power. So every time we throw our hammer and get a kill, we're creating an orb of power. Then we also have Melee Wellmaker on our gauntlets. Powered melee combatant final blow spawn elemental wells matching your subclass energy type. So we're, we're creating a well and an orb every time we throw our hammer and get a kill, which we're getting a kill every time we throw our hammer. We're also using Syntheseps as our exotic. I've tested this build out with multiple exotics and for a consistent basis of damage output, this one is the best because as long as there's enough enemies around, you're getting the bonus. Worm Gods is really good, but you only have a four second cooldown on Worm God and you have to stack that up five times and keep the stacks going. Whereas Syntheseps just activates automatically when you're jumping into the thick of things. You don't have to get a kill, get another kill, get another kill to ramp it up, right? Also, Severance Enclosure is really good with this build. Even Dune Marchers is really good, but they don't do as much damage. Those are more for like ad clear fun type stuff. So Syntheseps is the main one you want to be using. And that's because it improves our melee and super damage when we're surrounded. So that's our gauntlets. On our chest piece, we have protective light. While charged with light, you gain significant damage reductions when your shields are broken. We're becoming charged with light every time we pick up wells with elemental charge. On our boots, we have recuperation, replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of power, and we're creating an orb of power every time we throw our hammer. And we also have supercharged. You can have two additional stacks of charge with light, up to a maximum of four. So between supercharged and elemental charge, we can have four stacks of charge with light and we're spending all four stacks on protective light to make it that much stronger, more efficient and last longer. So we have resist times four. 
when we get our shields broken, which basically makes us unkillable. But on top of that, with our class item, we have Well of Life. Picking up a Solar Elemental Well grants increased regeneration for a short period of time. So we're always regenerating our health for 10 seconds every time we pick up a well, and we're always picking up wells. We always have the damage reduction for a protective light. On top of Tireless Warrior from the subclass, after hitting an enemy with your throwing hammer, picking up the hammer triggers your health regeneration. And then Recuperation, or Prelenish Health each time you pick up an Orb of Power. So there's four different ways we are surviving and healing ourselves. On our class item as well, we have a Thermoclastic Strike. Solar and Stasis Melees disrupt combatants strong against overload champions. It also refreshes your melee instantly when you stun an overload champion. So this is our way to stun overloads. And then on our class item, we have Focusing Lens. Your light abilities do bonus damage to combatants affected by stasis. Now to apply the stasis effect, we're using the exotic Aegir Scepter. You guys all know Aegir Scepter, it's super good. It's very good for ad clear. And the reason we're using it is because when you kill a red bar enemy, it creates that, you know, slowing burst around the target, the defeated target, and that freezes other enemies. So this can freeze the champions that you saw in the gameplay. And by freezing those champions, we're proccing, proccing focusing lens. So literally, all of this build together gives you like a 270% damage increase combined with everything going on. Plus you have all the damage reduction going on. It's just really crazy. You have focusing lands from Aegir's Scepter. You have the Synthoseps. You have Roaring Flames times three. So all those are adding to your damage bonus. And then on top of that, Roaring Flames and Synthoseps both work in your Burning Maul Super. And a lot of people don't know this, but that Burning Maul Super is great. As you see on these two clears I've done in this last sector, right at the boss, we destroy both barriers and the boss basically with the super alone. That's how strong that super can be. It's really good as long as you have Roaring Flames times three up and Synthoseps combined. So it does a lot. Now, as far as champions go, we have... Um, our overload champions being stunned with our thermoclastic strike of course on our gauntlets for these lost sectors i was running there was also barrier so i throw anti uh auto rifle barrier on there and that was for the uh barriers just in case i need it as you can see we i don't even think we shot a barrier with, with uh with our auto rifle barrier but just in case you need it it's there and then that's when you sub that out for unstoppable pulse rifle if you need to deal with an unstoppable. That's your stun and then you can also just go ahead and do your hammer combo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a couple videos up on screen. If you have not seen them, go give them a watch. The new Warlock build is great that I put out the other day. So if you guys haven't seen it, give it a watch. It helps the channel out and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.